Hi, I'm Chris Mazur with Leica Geosystems. I'm out here today with my Icon Tilt Rover, and I want to show you some of the benefits that you can achieve from using a Tilt Rover. So for today's task, we're going to as built this sidewalk that is behind me. I'm going to show you how using a Tilt Rover can help you as built faster and more accurately than using a non-Tilt Rover. So um, I think the best way to show this, I'm going to do some of the as building with the tilt compensation turned off, and then I'll show you how to do it again with tilt compensation turned on. So I'm going to go into my measure app, and for now I'm going to turn my tilt compensation off. I don't like doing this, but for this example I will. So if I'm going to as build this sidewalk, I would go ahead and set the pole down on the point that I want to measure. Um, I'm going to code this for now as, as a plumb point, and you'll see why in a second. But I would then just be looking at the bubble that's on my pole, or maybe the bubble's on the screen. But either way, I've got to kind of chase this bubble, so I've got to keep manipulating the pole until the bubble gets inside my circle, and when it does, I go ahead and measure. And I come over to the next one, I set the pole down, get the bubble inside the circle, and measure. Put the pole down, get the bubble inside my circle, Measure and maybe one more. Set the pole down. Get the bubble inside the circle and measure. And I'm not going to go all the way down the sidewalk. Um, you get the idea that every time I want to measure a point, I have to set the pole down on the point that I want to measure. I've got to look at the bubble, and when I get the bubble inside the circle, I could go ahead and take my measurement. Now I'm going to take some points with my tilt compensation turned on. I'm going to go ahead and turn tilt compensation on. And there we go. I came up and said tilt not initialized because I just turned it on. So with our ICG-70T tilt rover, if we see a message on there that says tilt not initialized, it just means we got to get the rover moving. Usually you can just twirl it around in a circle. Sometimes I'll just walk around for a couple seconds. Normally you don't see it too much during uh, the course of your work because as you're, as you're out here uh, as building or staking, you're probably moving around a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my as built. I'm going to change my code. I'm going to say that these are my tilt points. And as before, I had to come over to the point, level the rod, I had to stop, and I had to level the pole and then hit measure. Now I don't need to do that anymore. Now I just set the tip of the pole down where I want to measure, and I hit the measure button. I set the pole down and measure. I set the pole down and I measure. I set the pole down and I measure. Maybe one more. I set the pole down and I measure the point. So you can see I didn't have to look at my screen. I didn't have to look at the bubble. I didn't have to make sure that the pole was plumb before taking my point. Like you don't even need to stop. I could set the pole down on here, and as I'm walking, I could be hitting the measure button. So I could set this down, and as I'm walking forward, I could be hitting measure. Like I said, because the IMUs are very active or accurate when they're moving, so you could just do this on the fly. You don't need to have the pole stationary. To do this. You now you want to get some points on the other side as well. Just basically touch the tip of the pole at the point that you want to measure and go ahead and hit measure. You don't need to worry about whether the pole is plumb or whether you've stopped or anything like that. So that's how fast you can do topoing and as building with a tilt rover. So let's see how we did. If I kind of zoom in here a little bit and look at some of these points. So you see on here, the red points, don't forget, are the ones that I measured when my pole, when my tilt compensation was turned on and the pole was perfectly plumb. The green points on here are the points I shot using my tilt rover. And as you can see, they are all in line with each other. Um, and they are all right on the edge of my sidewalk where they're supposed to be. So it didn't matter that whether I took a point when I was plumbed and stopped or I took a measurement when I was on the move with my tilted pole. Um, it was just as accurate as when I, when I was plumbed. So you can see it's a lot faster uh, doing your as-built with the tilt rover, and it actually is a lot more accurate, too, because I don't have to worry about anything. I just set the tip of the pole down and go ahead and measure. Whereas if I don't have my tilt compensation turned on, I have to come over here, I have to be stopped and stationary, and I have to hold the pole really steady, and when I get the bubble inside the circle, I hit the measure button, and I just hope that I didn't hit the measure button maybe when the wind blew, or I, or I leaned to the side, or I swayed a little bit, 
um, you don't have to worry about that with tilt compensation. So you can see it's it's faster and it's more accurate. It's a better way of as both in your job site. 